May the peace of the Lord be with you all. As we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Come, let us now listen to the Word of God. May 13, 2024 Monday of the seventh week of Easter Optional Memorial of Our Lady of Fatima A reading from the Acts of the Apostles While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the inland regions and came to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Then he said, Into what then were you baptized? They answered, Into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied, altogether there were about twelve of them. He entered the synagogue and for three months spoke out boldly, and argued persuasively about the kingdom of God. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Let God rise up, let his enemies be scattered, let those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away, as wax melts before the fire. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. But let the righteous be joyful, let them exult before God, let them be jubilant with joy. Sing to God, Sing praises to his name, his name is the Lord, be exultant before him. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Father of orphans and protector of widows is God in his holy habitation. God gives the desolate a home to live in, he leads out the prisoners to prosperity. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The disciples said to Jesus, Yes, now you are speaking plainly, not in any figure of speech. Now we know that you know all things, and do not need to have anyone question you, by this we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you now believe? The hour is coming, indeed it has come, when you will be scattered, each one to his home, and you will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have said this to you, so that in me you may have peace. In the world you face persecution. But take courage, I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord Gospel Reflection What did Jesus tell his disciples that produced the peace of which he spoke? He is especially referring to his entire Last Supper discourse from which we have been reading. The words spoken throughout this discourse are meant to give the disciples, and us, courage and the ability to conquer the trouble imposed upon us by the world. Throughout Jesus' discourse, he especially points to the unity he has with his Father and the fact that if we stay united with Jesus, we will also be united to the Father. He spoke of himself being the vine and us the branches who must remain firmly attached to Jesus. He spoke of this being possible only by the coming power of the Holy Spirit whom he will send. And he spoke of the hatred that the world has for all who remain firmly grounded in the truth. Therefore, if you are one who seeks to remain deeply rooted in Christ, filled with the Holy Spirit and separated from the deceptions of the secular and unchristian world, then Jesus is clearly speaking to you. In this passage above, Jesus identifies one gift that will help us on this journey. This particular gift is the gift of his peace. 
Peace is the ability to remain calm and focused in the midst of any and every trouble we encounter. The trouble that Christians will especially face are the various persecutions of the world when we live in accord with the truth. And though there are many moral truths presented clearly by our faith that the world attacks, there are also other forms of troubles we will encounter within the world today. One of the most manifest troubles inflicted upon many by the world comes in the form of constant visual, auditory and mental stimulation. Our world is a noisy world. Modern electronics, the mass media, commercials, radio, internet, social media and so many other parts of our daily life have the subtle effect of distracting us, stimulating us and stealing away the peace of Christ. Consider, for example, the idea of entering into the silence of a retreat for a day, or two, or longer. How would you handle turning off your smartphone, tablet, computer, television and radio for an extended period of time? Would you go through a form of withdrawal? Many today would indeed find this difficult. And the reason for this is that the peace of which Jesus speaks is slowly dwindling in the lives of many. Instead of God's peace, we are filled with constant noise, commotion and activity. This is the world attacking us and stealing the peace God wants to bestow. Reflect, today, upon the exceptionally important truth, that Jesus wants you to know his peace in your heart. And he wants that peace to sustain you. Reflect upon the interior battle that may take place within you between the world and the peace of Christ. Who is winning that battle for your soul? Is there more of the world or more of the peace of Christ reigning within you? Seek out the peace that only Jesus gives, and, as you discover his peace, you will also discover the source of that peace, Jesus himself. Let us pray. Lord of all peace, you have called us out of the world so that your peace will abide within us, sustaining us, giving us courage, wisdom and strength. I open my life to you, dear Lord, and pray that the many distractions and commotions imposed upon me by the world will begin to cease. May I always hear your gentle voice and follow you to the place of silent repose found only in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share it with your friends and family, so that they may also be blessed as you are. May God bless you.